Hello, good morning again. In this presentation, I would like to introduce the United Nations uh, World Ocean Assessment and the IOC support to this uh, important process. Uh, following the 2002 World Summit in the Johannesburg uh, in South Africa, the United Nations General Assembly set up a regular process uh, to review the environmental, economic, and social aspects of the world oceans. As you see, many activities have been done in all the topics, like climate, in ozone, fresh water, but now is the time for uh, the ocean. Uh, this is the regular process, process for global reporting and assessment of the state of the marine environment, including socioeconomic aspects. As you see, integrated by uh, working groups represented by, uh, with representatives from uh, all the member states, and a group of experts uh, that assist in conducting the assessment and provide peer, uh, peer review. The terms of reference were adopted in 2012 and the methods for the group of experts uh, uh, to start work. We are currently uh, working in the final uh, peer review for the World Ocean Assessment and hopefully at the, by the end or just after the summer we can have it published. Uh, the outputs will be a, ser a series of world ocean assessment, assessments, sorry, building on the many assessments already carried out by member states and international organizations uh, around the world. The aim is to provide a sound scientific uh, basis for decisions at global level on the world's oceans and uh, seas, and a framework for national and regional uh, assessment and management uh, decisions. Uh, the questions that we need to answer uh, in this, uh, with this process is what is the overall state of the world's oceans and seas? Uh, if the marine ecosystems around the world are improving or not, or declining? Uh, the benefits uh, that we get from the world's ocean in terms of ecosystem services, goods, and how can we measure it? The, these ecosystem services, but also the state of the ocean. Uh, the process itself has so many social, uh, societal benefits, like uh, expanding knowledge of global and coastal ocean, support national ocean, ocean policies, and support as well the national assessment, especially for those countries that are uh, celebrating this year the small island state uh, development, uh, sorry, the small island development states. Uh, as part of the process, IOC, UNESCO, uh, with the with the financial financial contribution of the, the Republic of France and the government of Flanders in Belgium, uh, the communication portal that is. Uh, that is already operative and executed by uh, Greater Endel. Technical support uh, in terms of marine assessment products avail available for the group of ex experts participating in the regular process. With the results of TWAP that I just presented by the end of this year, both the reporting, the indicators, and the web portals, and the provision of editorial support to the working group of experts and to others. In terms of capacity building, supporting the organization of UN regional workshops, we have already organized one in India and another one in Belgium, and the regional scientific and technical capacity uh, building training seminars, like in Van Gogh and in Abidjan. And about the peer review process that started early July and uh, it will finish at the end of October this year with the technical review that will be conducted by experts, nominated by the group of experts. IOC and other agencies will provide comment on the draft. The draft They are currently working, as I mentioned, and IOC member states will also be invited to review the chapters. Uh, all the information regarding the chapters, the outline of the uh, report, and so on, you can find it in the website, this worldoceanassessment.org. And there you will see as well the message from the UN Secretary General Ban Ki-moon supporting this uh, process. Thank you very much. Thank you. Mm -hmm. You have questions? Mm -hmm.